Scotland. Are we right? Like, what was that about? La, this is episode three of the Amazing Race Recap, season 33. Let's let's get into it. Let's do it. that Scotland what a beautiful country yes it's too bad that at the moment we didn't appreciate any of it because of we it. were so wrapped up in trying to get to the pit stop so we are on the train and I have to say I had the best sleep ever on that train to Scotland I have to say I didn't sleep at all I'm a little claustrophobic walking into that tube is what <laughs> I kept calling it was was hard for me because I kept feeling like I was being enclosed in and I was getting panicky. It, Not was, it was really I, hard for me. Honestly, I honestly didn't pay attention and I was just like, all right, well, I'm going to sleep. Um, somebody needs to be wide awake <laughs> when we start this other leg. But um, it was a very interesting episode, a very interesting, how do I say this? Everything. Experience? Um, yeah. So stick shift driving. Um, I think that everybody in America should learn how to drive. It should be a requirement before you get your license to learn how to drive shift because it was a challenge I mean we did take a few courses before leaving I didn't think it would be that hard but the fact that you're driving on the opposite side of the road and the steering wheel is on the right side of the car just made it the, the whole situation a little bit more difficult and confusing that's right now they didn't show this but uh, we actually hit a speed bump and got stuck in the middle of it I could not get the car to get past it, it kept stalling on me. It was very frustrating. Yeah, so I actually got out of the car and tried to push the car clearly that, uh, what made you think that you were gonna be able to push a car? Listen, the adrenaline was going and I figured maybe maybe I'll, I'll have the strength to push the car over the, the speed bump. The, that was not the case. At Needless all. to say, we finally found the box where um, the clue was to do the bagpipes. Now, Lala, I have to say I'm very proud of you because you killed it. I you was... really knew how to blow those bagpipes. I'm gonna pause right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was such, so cool. First of all, I gotta give a lot of credit to those people that know how to play that instrument. It is not easy. You really not, you really have to squeeze that bagpipe and blow real hard. To, to make any noise at this point. Now, I was to say, you know, I, in this episode, was trying to be the good sister, rooting my sister on, giving her positive feedback, encouraging her, and she told me I to told you to shut up. Yeah. Because uh, there was about, I think it was like four teams well, when we first got there, three or four teams. So I knew I'm like, I, I have to focus and concentrate, and her yelling at me, yeah, you got this, hurry up, you got this. It just added pressure to me, and I was like, just, just don't say anything, please. Let me figure this out so that I could be one of the first ones to, you know, um, I can't even speak. So I could be one of the first ones to create, you know, put a stem of a bagpipe and just go on with it. Yes. Luckily, she took my direction and I shut, shut up, up and I was able to, to do the thing. Uh, you looked super cute up there, Lala. Blowing away on that bagpipe, I thought it was hilarious and you'll have that memory forever. What an experience. I'm really happy that I, I did it. Yes. So, now, you missed out. Did I though? I don't know. I don't know that I did. Um, moving forward, it was actually nice to see how everybody was so close to one another. Yeah. Natalia helping out. Um, I think it was Raquel and, and um, Coach, was it? Coach and Con? Con? Honestly, I feel like that is what actually held them behind. If they would have just left, yeah, but you know, you're there and you you don't want to be the bad person either because then you're thinking ahead like in other, yeah, you just never know. So you want to help, but you don't want to help too much. That, exactly. Um, we finally got to the next clue box and that's when we had to make the decision of whether we were going to bang those barrels or if we were going to, to dance and sing. Now we have 10 years experience in dancing, so it was a no brainer for us. However, um, it was very specific. You had to say the words the right way. You had to be on beat and you had to do the choreography. Otherwise, you had to redo the whole thing over again. And what they didn't show is that we actually did it like about 12 times. Yes, and actually they, they wanted you to put your own character, your own spin to it. And uh, clearly we, we were not doing that. We were just marking the steps, making sure we had the words correctly because we recognized that some of the words were a little yeah, we, yeah, it had to be very specific. Um, 
there are two little boys that were standing next to us, super cute. But I remember one of the little boys got so frustrated with us that he looked at me and said, it's not that hard, like get it already. And I was just like, oh, hold up, hold up. I know this little kid isn't telling me, you know, making me feel stupid. Well, he did, it. and he was actually 100% correct. <laughs> I mean, you were like sizing up this eight-year-old and I'm like, Lala, you, we're doing it wrong. He, he's right. But um, so cute. I wanted to give him a hug. I think I did. We did. We gave him a hug yeah. after they gave us the clue. Um, I wonder what they're doing now. They probably they're probably two years older. They must have been like eight or ten years old. They were adorable, and I, and I appreciated the parents that were there with them too. Yeah. But um, that was a fun experience. Now, it was still daytime when we left to go to the pit stop. Right at the University of Glasgow, and uh, what, an, what a gorgeous university! I think that if I would have gone to that university, I would have paid more attention uh, in class. Me too. But I know in, in college, I wrote notes rather than taking notes. I took the notes. <laughs> she wrote the notes to other people, not me, because I never got one. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, we literally went around for three hours. We couldn't find no. The well, the thing university. is, this is. The thing is, we knew that the university was there. We just didn't know where the entrance was. Well, we couldn't find the specific entrance right. that we needed to go in through. So we were literally going in circles for three hours, trying to figure it out. No lie, three hours. And it was right in our face. Like I couldn't, I can't, I can't even believe that we missed it so many times. We didn't have common sense at that moment to just see this is this is the university. Let's just go in and we'll find it eventually. Needless to say, again we thought we were last because since we had been trailing behind the first two legs, we we're like, all right, well let's just to get used to being last. <laughs> when we finally get to the university and we're running to the pit stop to see Phil, we realized that Taylor and Isaiah were coming in right after us. And that's when we realized, wait a minute, we are not last. Who knows where we land in uh, this race at this time, but we didn't care. We were like, yes, finally we're not last. Yeah, I was very happy about that. And there's something that I said we at the beginning of this video. We said that everybody should know how to drive. Before you get your license, it should be a requirement that you should know how to drive stitch. stitch. I am going to add to that. What are you gonna add, dude? Everyone should know how to read a map because let's face it, yes. in this day and age, everybody uses their GPS. GPS. And reading a map in a different country where you really don't know what's what uh, made it even more difficult. So reading maps should be also a requirement. I think it is. I just, I don't, is it? I don't know. I don't even remember really. Yeah. But there also was a little language barrier because of the accent. You know, we have our accent and, and the they Scottish. have their accent. So trying to communicate, I remember at one point we got off at what it seemed to be like a deli yes. of some sort. And we're asking and they're looking at us, we're looking at them and we're both equally frustrated and confused because we're both speaking English. They're speaking English, we're speaking English, and we just can't understand one another. It got to a point where it was funny. We all just started laughing like, you know, at this point, like, let's it just, is what it is. I don't, I don't get you, you don't get me, but we get the fact that we don't get each other. <laughs> so at that point we were like, nice meeting you, let's, let's keep it moving. So uh, needless to say, what a fun episode. I really got to see the struggle that everybody went through. I, I think, you know, when you're racing, you only concentrate on what you're doing, what you went through, where you landed it at the end of the of the of the race of the leg rather. Um, but once again, I what an amazing say, experience! The last part of episode three, uh, I was, I had like a, a knot in your throat. I had a knot in my throat because I remember when they gathered the entire cast, and Phil tells us, "Hey, we're shutting production. We're flying everybody back, and we don't know." If it's ever gonna come if back. If it's gonna come if back. We weren't and I, ready. What you don't see is that immediately after, I literally started crying because I did not wanna go back home. I wasn't ready to go back home. I had formed this beautiful bond with everybody from the cast. I think everyone felt the same way. I mean, obviously we were worried about 
what was going on with this coronavirus. We didn't, at that point, we didn't even know the severity of it. Um, but we all were bummed as to like, oh man, we're just getting started. And we really didn't know if we were ever gonna see anybody ever again. We know? honestly thought that this season would probably be a wash and we wouldn't come back to it. Yeah, so, you know, it was, they're family. Everybody in season 33 is family to us. And the fact that we didn't know what was gonna happen was very depressing for all of us. It was very um, just sad. We were all just very sad. Were we? But we had our great moments. We did. We that sure we're gonna did. take with us forever and ever. And we are really excited for you guys to watch the following episode when we're in Switzerland, um, Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. That's right, it's gonna be an interesting one. So make sure to tune in. Bye.